hey everybody, I have a sad report to make, and um, the Keychron Q11 didn't make it. Um, I might have been my fault, it might have been natural causes, but the right side of the keyboard malfunctioned and would no longer work. Every time I plugged it in, it would just repeatedly show the bottom row of keys on the display and it wouldn't let me type anything else or do anything. So I took it to Micro Center hoping I could just exchange it for the same one and they didn't have any Q11s left in stock. So not wanting to return home empty handed, I exchanged it for the Q1 Pro. Uh, the Q1 is a very similar keyboard. It's same amount of keys, more or less. Uh, it's just not split. It's one piece. The construction of it's a little bit different. It's more of a higher profile than the Q11. Um, but all in all, it's got all the same bells and whistles. And it's a really, really great keyboard. Extremely well built. And uh, you'll see here in the next few minutes... Um, there just needs to be a few things that need to change as far as how it sounds. Uh, I tried to do a quick keycap change to see if that would change the sound, give us the sound that I needed. It didn't work. Uh, I then took some O-rings, put some O-rings in the keycaps, and I also used a little bit of foam strips here that I got on Amazon. Again, it wasn't really giving me the sound profile that I wanted. So... I took those keycaps off and took the keyboard apart, went with the painter's tape mod and covered the back of the PCB uh, with two layers of tape. And then I had another modification that I wanted to try. I also have uh, this foam tape that I picked up at the dollar store and wanted to do what I could to kind of make this as uh, budget friendly as possible. And I really want to keep this Q1 because it matches perfectly the profile of my Q0 numpad. Uh, here I'll show you a little comparison of how they look next to each other. Uh, they really are more or less built to be with each other. I think if I got the Q0 plus it would be the exact size, uh, but this is great. This is all that I need and I'm really happy with this Q0. Uh, anyway, uh, please enjoy. If you have any questions, there's a comment box right below the screen. Uh, if there's any changes that you think I should have made that I didn't make, let me know what those are. Or if you've made any changes to this keyboard and um, they've worked out well for you, uh, I'd love to know about those. So I know a lot of other people have modification videos out there and uh, some of these are going to be the same. Uh, I haven't seen anybody do one of the things that I do, so uh, maybe I'm just an idiot for trying this or maybe I just haven't searched hard enough to find that right person who's done this. But... Um, Check them out. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, thanks for sticking around, guys. Okay. We're trying something new here. A little production value. Two camera angles. What are we going to do today? I want to do... I want to take off these keycaps. I'm going to do a tape mod. Let's do a sound test first. some uh, O-rings on that. Put some foam in here. Keycaps are coming off.
Okay. Item two. Put these in here before they get lost. Okay, what do I need to do with this one here? I was thinking about doing my cork mod here. This sheet is almost the perfect size. But I also want to do the tape mod on the back of this PCB. Let's just try taping over what we got here. Let's see what happens. All right, we'll see what that does to it. I don't know where that cord is. There's my hole. I don't know if I should take that electrostaticy film out of there. But I am going to take that foam off. Special cutting mat here. Now, this cork I got at Dollar Tree. I'm not 100% sure how much I paid for it, but considering it was a Dollar Tree, it might have been around a dollar. I also got this little mat there, too. It's not much, but it's good to protect my desk here. Okay, let's see. I did that backwards. Great. Put that just like that. You know what? Let's just put this in here as a layer. Let's see what that does, just as a layer. Just in there by itself. Put these on, see what happens.
Gracias. Gracias. Just realized I neglected to put this piece of foam back in here, but let's just see what this sounds like. We got the cork in there instead. That sounds considerably better. Okay, last thing I'll do is put this foam back in, but we're gonna keep that cork just for, just for funsies. I don't know if my additional cork is actually doing anything, but I'm gonna keep it in there just, just to see. It was cheap, the cork was only a dollar the tape I had in the basement. As far as the amount of work is concerned, these are some great quick mods. And you can't tell me that sound didn't change. Let's try one more test here. That is a major, major difference in sound. <laughs> I can't believe that. That was some really cheap stuff. That cork, again, I got that for a dollar at the dollar store. And I had all that painter's tape downstairs from another painting project from another, who knows, a couple years back. But um, this is a really huge difference. Got some O-rings.
Yeah, the O-ring's not gonna do what I want it to do. There we go, there's some, some cheap mods. Um, that tape mod's really cool. I mean, I'm really impressed by how much it adjusts that sound. Uh, so, it's something you can do really easily on your own keyboard. Um, the cork, also, we may or may not be getting a change from it, but you know what? Next time I take this apart, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the cork off. I'll take the tape off and use just the cork, and we'll see what that does. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna end this tape with one last sound test. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? That wasn't very painful. I didn't hurt myself. I didn't bleed. Uh, I stretched some new learning muscles. That was interesting. But I think all in all, I, I know all in all, I made the right changes for my Q1 keyboard. And uh, I've got the good sound that I want. Um, I really like this keyboard. I'm excited to make a few more modifications. I'm sure I'll change some things as time goes on, but uh, for right now, I really like what I've got in place here, and um, I'll keep you posted as things change. But again, keep me posted too. Let me know if there's any other modifications you think I should do, or if you have the same keyboard. I know it's popular. Let me know what modifications you've made and how that's changed your keyboard, and maybe you can help me uh, create another video out of this stuff. There, I know there's an endless modifications we can do. So let's uh, keep walking down this path and making these changes till we find the perfect end game keyboard. Thanks everyone.